I, uh, please, and I go to York to to with a disabled person's rail card, and please. You want my ticket? Say again? Yeah. Oh. This one's the lowered counter though, isn't it? Yeah, we don't sell tickets my colleagues just down there. Oh. What? <laughs> okay. Counter for selling tickets. <laughs> it's for disabled access if you're buying tickets. This is the lowered counter for selling tickets. Yeah, they're all higher counters without hearing loops. I bought the tickets now. But please, can I speak to the manager? Thank you. Please, can you arrange for me to catch a train? Yeah, what kind of train are you going on? I don't know. I'm going to York. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ticket office. Hello. It says, on your website, it says you've got an accessible ticket office counter. Yes. And, and I, I mean, previously I sued more than because it was just permanently shut and unstaffed. And, and now I come and I try and buy tickets. It's got the lowered thing for collecting its tickets. And it's the only one that's got an induction mode. It has, but it's temporary. Because the CIP's closed, we've got to move the CIP in here. Right, so, so they've closed the ticket office, the accessible ticket counter. They're the only one that you can use in a wheelchair. Because all the others are raised. At this side, yeah. Really? <laughs> what we're going to do is just serve you here, but issue it on the other machine. Oh, she told me that I had to go and be served by the police. She told me that I had to go around and use the other ticket, that go and be served by the other people. So I went to use the ticket machine in the end. But there's, there's nothing, you haven't changed the information on the National Railways Inquiries website to say that the only accessible ticket counter is wrong. No. I think I might sue Northern again. I know what you're saying, I'm actually on training, so... Um, yeah. It's the only one with a hearing loop. I can't hear the other people. <laughs> yeah. Did I see you before you bought a ticket or did you just got your ticket for one of the others that served you here? This lady here said that she'd been serving. Right, okay. She said just had to go and get it for one of the other inaccessible counters. Okay. That lady. Yeah, that lady. <laughs> what I would have done is just taken your details and... I don't know if it's worse that it's actually open now but just not usable to buy tickets or when it was just permanently unstaffed. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will mention it because it is yeah, right. Thank you. Yes. As I say, I've just started so I didn't actually know about it. But Thank you. And the one in the advanced purchase ticket like this, there's no, there's no ticket selling facilities at it. Yeah. It's not used. That's the same, that's, that's the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the information quite close to the so I've got to put that somewhere accessible. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but the, the, the other, even in the, even in the travel centre, 
the accessible ticket position isn't usable because there's no computer at it and it's, it's always got the extra bit of dust stacked on it. Right, that's what they're doing there, that's what I know, but normally the clerk on the other window comes down and actually yeah. sees you on that one, although there's no machine, but it does seem a bit daft to not have a machine. Sorry for moaning. It's alright, no. Well, I'm hoping you're okay. Like, did you say that 1242? Yeah. Say again? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll go straight, I'll go back in and make a note of the Thank you. About it. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, combination of deaf and wheelchair user. <laughs> trying to hear from other cows and then give it your just trying to make this accessible for people, you know, because they're doing the assistance here, so... Yeah, but even then they were shouting from there rather than coming use the loop in the lower pitch. Thank you. Yeah.